I want to give you some advice about what you should do if you're feeling stuck after your first awakening. Like you've had it, you're excited, and you don't know what to do next. And my advice is to just basically you're going to have to kind of go through a trial and error phase. You're just going to have to suffer through not knowing what to do for a while because you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Maybe that's why you're watching this video. And so what I would suggest through this trial and error phase is to just start exploring and researching whatever areas of spiritual um, development, personal development, awakening, enlightenment, whatever religious traditions that excite you the most, start there and explore the different practices, the different techniques in those specific traditions wherever you're most excited. Like, are you most excited about, like, are you most drawn to meditation? That's where I, I was drawn to meditation. So I did a lot of meditative work and that, you know, led to a couple of new awakenings. Uh, maybe you are drawn to Hinduism or maybe you're drawn to Christian mysticism. You know, if you're from the U.S., there's so, you know, there's actually a lot of like Catholic priests who are mystics and who know what God truly is, not just this like figure in the sky, but know how to like experience God consciousness. So like you can find those people that live in the U.S. that are like Catholic priests and you, you maybe you'd think like, oh, they're in their religious dogma, they don't know. But there are actually some super, super spiritually developed uh, like priests that you can find. Um, for example, Anthony DeMello, he's dead now, but he wrote a book. He wrote a couple books about like awakening and he was a Catholic priest, a Jesuit priest. So whatever it is that you're drawn to that you feel like most pulled towards and excited about, just start researching and don't push yourself to have an awakening every other day, you know, because that pressure is, not, it's not going to help you really, basically. Follow your excitement, but don't expect it to lead to an awakening tomorrow, you know, or to expand your consciousness within a week. You know, know that you're going to go through the, the stage of growth and plateau. You're going to have a lot of spurts and stagnant stages where you're just kind of like stuck for a while, not really knowing what to do. Maybe you're falling back into bad habits, becoming unconscious. It's totally okay and it's part of the process and eventually if you follow your excitement and researching and trying and practicing different spiritual techniques, creating habits around meditation or specific visualizations or whatever it is that, whatever technique that excites you the most, once you start diving into that more, you will start to see more spiritual experiences. You'll have more awakenings. but. It's not going to be like this immediate thing. At least it wasn't for me. Like even the last like two months, I haven't had a, a profound experience. Well, that's not true. Actually, I had one a couple of days ago. That was pretty crazy. But, you know, before that, I was I was kind of like back in my unconscious ways. And that's totally fine. You know, we go through these cycles of like becoming more awake and less awake and falling off the path and coming back and being committed to the path. And you've just begun the longer path, you know, because you've experienced the truth for the very first time, glimpsing, you know, just getting that little experience of awakening gets you excited enough. And now you know that this is real, that this is something that's like actually worth pursuing. So follow your passion, start practicing things that you're excited about, start learning just for, the, just for the sake of excitement. What is exciting to you? Don't do it because you have to or you feel like this is your duty, your obligation. What excites you the most? Follow that. Try that. Do you think that this practice might be a fun thing to do? Do you think that this technique over here would be, sounds really interesting and I want to give it a shot because it sounds fun. If that is what is most exciting to you and, and is drawn, what you feel most drawn towards that's the thing to practice that's the thing to learn about and if you just keep following that path of like what seems most exciting and trying it eventually you'll get you'll find the techniques and paths and traditions that are right for your journey towards awakening so that is my advice for 
your first awakening, if you've just glimpsed it, you know, I like to call it glimpsing because like sometimes it's just, it, it's just a couple seconds. Sometimes it's a minute, sometimes it's a whole day of just you're in that consciousness. But yeah, this is an exciting place to be. I'm really excited for you if that's where you are. You know, you're having your first awakening. It's like, welcome to the welcome to the path. Welcome to the tribe. We're all, uh, as Ram Dass says, just walking each other home. We're all just waking up together and helping each other get to where we want to go and expand into more love and greater consciousness and joy and expansion. And I hope that some of this information, you know, I'm, I'm no mystic teacher of the century, you know, I'm no guru, but I hope that at least like some of this information in my own experience can be some help and some guide on your path towards awakening. So thanks for watching today's video and uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Good luck.